Hello everyone. I'm so glad you could join us today for our Global Citizenship Assembly. Um, I'm glad you were able to join us earlier this week for the lesson and now we're going to share some of the lovely things that you've sent in. But first, um, I would like to say a quick hello to Chris Naylor Ballesteros and Nicola Davies, who had... <laughs> <laughs> Nicola, we can just see your hand. <laughs> She's obviously busy working. There she is. Um, Nicola was, if you remember, Nicola was in our session for upper primary and she read three of her lovely books. The Day of War Came, The New Girl and King of the Sky. And Chris was in our session for early years to P3 and he read his lovely book, The Suitcase. And there were a couple of different activities that we gave you to do um, after hearing those stories. And we've got some lovely examples of those. But first, we're just going to go over what we've learned this week. Let's do that first. And when will I get everything sorted here? There we go. There's our lovely welcome screen again. <clears throat> and first, we're going to have a think about what did we learn this week? Let's have a quick recap of all the things that we were talking about this week. So first, we learned that there are lots of ways to say what global citizenship is. And the one common element that we all have is people. We also learned that despite all of us in the world, but all of us in the world seeming quite different to each other, we are mostly quite the same. We're more the same than we are different. For example, we all enjoy having a laugh with friends and we all feel sadness when we've not been accepted. We're not feeling accepted. And we also carry stories within ourselves. For example, from Nicola and Chris, we learned that one of the first steps in being a good global and local citizen is to try and understand what other people are feeling. You remember these pictures from the new girl and the strange animal from the suitcase. Sometimes we forget about this and we find ourselves not being very kind or maybe feeling a bit suspicious about people who seem different to us or new. Do you remember the bit in the story where the fox is a bit suspicious of the strange animal? And in the day the war, the day war came, when the girl goes to school and there's no place for her. And if you haven't seen one of the sessions, I'd encourage you to watch both because the stories are really quite moving. We also learned how to do things differently and to put ourselves in someone else's shoes to see the similarities between us, which helps us to become kinder to each other. There's two lovely pictures there of all the chairs for all the children and the lovely pictures the animals took in the suitcase. I won't give away the endings. <laughs> One of the ways in which we can step into someone else's shoes and even more, maybe open the door to new friendships is by listening, like really listening to their stories. With Emma, we also learned how our connections go beyond the people we know, right? Through the things and the food we buy, we're connected to people all over the world and we depend on each other, but in some cases, people are not treated as fairly as they should be. This is Emma from Christian Aid who joined us in our um, session for primary four to P7. We can do something about this. And just like if we put all of our pennies together, we can afford more if we join all our voices and messages together for a fairer and kinder world, these messages become stronger and they can reach further. And we have more power to influence others than we might realize. So let's join our voices. Have a minute to think about what you would say if the entire world could listen to us all at once, just like they did during the march in Glasgow with, Gret with um, Greta Thunberg. What would you say to people to remind them that we, what we need and want for a kinder and fairer world for everyone? Maybe share your thoughts in the chat, or you can email them to us if you can't think of something just now, and we'll gather them into a collage that we're going to share after the assembly on social media and on our website. 
okay? So if you can think of a message that you want everyone to hear. And while you're thinking about that, I'm going to show you some messages that other pupils had um, sent us for politicians who are attending COP26 in Glasgow. Right, and we'll watch this video just before we share some examples of your work. This is what many schools and maybe yours did when they joined our call for sending a message to world leaders who were coming to COP26. We put all of these images together into a lovely book and also this video. And that book was gifted to First Minister Nicola Sturgeon so she could hear all of the messages and share them with people attending COP26. So I'll just show you this video while you think of some messages that you might like um, and that you might like the whole world to hear. And you could put them in the chat or email it to us later on. Just hold on one moment and I will put the right screen up. There we go. Do this, do this and that, and then share again. And the tables they turn And the world be a world that's elite With California's burning And Germany is flooded And what can and what do you see? Is it one who we could pass on Through the generations of war And at the mercy of the world nations Oh, 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 what do you see? So at the beginning of that video, I meant to mention that the lyrics were written by a pupil from St. Joseph's and St. Bride's High School. Ah, and I can see there's lots of good messages coming through there as well. That's very good. Um, no littering, listen to children's voices, everyone and everything matters. Ooh, stop bullying, see people as individuals. Mm -hmm. Yep, exactly that kind of thing. <clears throat> Always treat people with respect. Oh, well done. Those are exactly the kinds of messages we want people to hear, isn't it? <clears throat> so, speaking of messages, I'm going to show some of the examples of work that you sent in after our lessons earlier this week. So thank you so much for sending in your photos, your letters, your stories, all kinds of things. If you haven't yet already, we'd still love to see them. Um, so, <clears throat> excuse me, if you have drawn things to put in a suitcase or you've written a story or <clears throat> you 
you have put um, some of your reflections about the lessons into little chat bubbles like we were talking about before. We'd still love to see this, but just now I've got these from Balfron Primary School who were particularly interested in the bit from Christian Aid and put lots of speech bubbles in there with messages just like the ones that you're sending in just now. I can see together we can help others. I have rights. My opinion is important. Very good. Lots of good positive messages in there. Grand Tilly Primary School sent us this amazing suitcase full <laughs> of things that they would like to um, take with them. So I think this is for the whole class. I know, Chris, you said uh, what two things, but they kind of clubbed together with a big suitcase <laughs> and I can see some stuffed animals in there. I can see a guitar. I can see lots of rabbits, actually. And one thing I did notice it was very close to my heart. They've got both dark hot chocolate and hot chocolate in there. So very good. Somebody has their priorities right. Um, <laughs> and there's a doll and a ball. Um, and I think a blanket in there as well. So well done. That's a very good suitcase. St. Mary's Primary School, the P23 class, were obviously interested in our lesson. We, they sent us, uh, they put a, their photo on Twitter, so we'd love to see the photos of you joining in. So thank you. Um, and they also sent loads of pictures of suitcases. Now you can't really see them from there, so I've made them bigger. So this one's got um, chocolate, very good. Ice cream, I'm loving the focus on snacks here. Um, an <laughs> iPad, a football. And I think that is a doll. Maybe it's another ice cream. I'm not sure. And uh, uh, coffee. Well done. Yep. And a ball. It looks like a book, a yeah. water bottle and a banana. Maybe this lesson was a bit close to snack time. <laughs> <laughs> um, there's a balloon in this one, a watch, a football, football kit. And I'm not sure if that's the sunshine. So that's lovely. And this one's got a switch controller, a bicycle, a blanket and a bed. Very nice. And this looks like a video game controller as well, a T-shirt, maybe either some trousers or an Xbox controller. I'm not quite sure. And a school tie. <laughs> yes, essential. This one, I like this one very much because it just says snack box. <laughs> <laughs> and maybe that is a friend or um, a, a doll, I'm not sure. But either way, it's a lovely thought to give someone those things. And this one is a stuffed animal Ooh. of some sort. I think it looks like a dinosaur, I think um, dinosaur. and a bed, which is lovely. Yeah. And this one, a switch controller, a, looks like a comic book called Dogman, which I would really like to read that, actually. Um, a toy looks like a, a watch, a bed, yeah. and a phone with the camera with the four holes there. If I'm wrong oh, yeah, about yeah, any yeah, of these, yeah, yeah. please feel free to correct me. Is it not but, a house? I don't know. Mm -hmm, maybe. Um, St. Mary's also sent us from their P67 class. They sent us a lovely picture of them watching our video and writing some stories. And they also sent us this lovely picture of all of their speech bubbles. Now, unfortunately, I can't zoom in enough to read them. I would love to know what you said. So if um, if you wouldn't mind sending us a better picture of your speech bubbles, we'd love to know what they say. Because that's very cool. You've obviously put quite a lot of thought into that. And Culture Cullen Primary School, they made this lovely collage on one of their school walls about global citizenship. We are global citizens. Now, because the picture is quite small, I zoomed in a bit so we can read what they say. He says, I can use my voice. And to, I love the, the chameleon with the together we can make change. Very good. We can create change. My opinion matters. Love that. And some of the ones on the bottom, they say fair trade is fair. Yes, very good. Together we will make change. I'm loving the positivity here. My opinion is important. Yes, well done. But thank you so much to everyone who sent these in. Chris, would you like to say a bit about what you can see there and, and Nicola as well? Do you want to chime in? Yeah, they were beautiful. They were really nice. There's some nice ideas. Um, I think the ice cream, I would probably just eat that before I put it in my suitcase. And <laughs> I think 
I think I would love to take a dinosaur. It might be a bit of a handful if you're traveling, but mm -hmm. yeah. Yes, really lovely. Uh, there's some fantastic ideas and some really nice drawings. It was, it was very, really great. Yeah. To, great some to see them. Very kind suggestions in there. I like yeah. that. Mm -hmm. Are you there as well? Would you like to chime in too? We're having a bit of technical problems with Nicholas' sound, perhaps. Let's see. Um, can you hear me? Yeah. Hi. And Hi. I, I, I really love that concept of the suitcase and the fact that you that it's what is inside it when it's closed is completely secret. So it's got lots of fun aspects to it, that idea, because anything could be inside. Yeah, it could be just, you know, a year's supply of chocolate biscuits. Um, but it's also quite a serious idea, too, because, you know, if you suddenly had to leave, if you had mm -hmm. to walk out through your front door with 10 minutes to pack, what would you take? You know, what would you take those those and those, are, of course, some of the choices that that people who are forced to become refugees have to make, mm -hmm. you know, leave now with just what you could jam in a suitcase in five minutes. That's right. So I'm liking some of the, the make choices not here. Year's supply of chocolate biscuits. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. That might be one of my priorities, but. <clears throat> Um, I just I wanted to take a minute to thank you both for the time that you spent on um, on joining us this this earlier this week for um, and also to the Scottish Book Trust for supporting this live lesson um, for collaborating with us and um, sharing your wonderful stories with us as, as well. Um, I can see a couple of schools are saying they'll they'll send pictures in. Oh, and St Mary's are saying they'll send a larger picture. And thank you because. Um, what you put in your speech bubbles looks really interesting. <laughs> yeah. We always love seeing your work, even if you're watching this back on a recording and you think, oh, it's too late. It's never too late to show us mm -hmm. what you're doing. We absolutely love hearing from schools. That's uh, one of our favorite things to get an email from a school showing us what you've been doing. Um, it just brightens our day so much. So even if you're watching this weeks later, please feel free to send in examples of what you do with our lessons. Just cheers us right up. Um, thank you also once again to all the educators who make time out of their day to join our lessons and to use our content with their classes, um, help pupils do the amazing work that you show us um, and inspire us as well to um, create new content and to um, be just to make more of the same. And also thank you to all of you pupils who are listening today wanting to take action for your planet and to make the world a better place. You also inspire us so much to do better and more with our work. Remember earlier in both of our live lessons earlier this week, we said that one thing that you can do to be a good global citizen is to do something kind for someone. So at some point in the near future, if you see the opportunity to do something kind for someone, I know a lot of you do this anyway, um, but maybe think about doing that one thing to make someone's day a little brighter. Maybe that's paint them a piece of artwork or give them a compliment, help them with something, or you know, just take an opportunity to be kind. If you want to tell us about what you've done to inspire other people, that would be wonderful, but you don't have to. Um, here's some examples on here of things you could do. And as always, during all of our live lessons, we have our inspirational slide to remind us all that we can make a difference. We can be the difference because we can be kind. And we're already doing so much to be different, to make the difference in our world. Our next live lessons, if you'd like to join us, we're going to hear from Edinburgh Dog and Cat Home on the 6th of March. And that's all about, well, dogs and cats, but also how we can help people who are struggling to keep their pets at home, the work that they do to rehome pets. And it's one of the organizations that your eco committee might be able to work with if you're looking for a partner. We also have our exciting yearly <clears throat> annual lesson on Scottish Spring Clean because that is our major campaign to keep Scotland beautiful and that's coming up in, um, in April. So we have the live lesson um, the week beginning March 20th. So that will help prepare you to do as much as you can to keep Scotland tidy. 
and we have a new kind of lesson all about natural Scotland and that is going to involve um, geology which is something we've never done before so that's exciting and that's in May and then we have a brand new mini lesson with living streets all about active travel walkable communities and things you can do to make your community more accessible thank you so much for joining us today i hope you have a happy friday because the day we're recording this is a friday so happy friday and happy weekend and i hope you're able to join thank us you. for another live lesson very soon <clears throat> so thank you very much i know we're a bit short this time but thank you that's all we have for today Thank you to you as well. Thank Bye. you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye.